Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here at another iced over pond. Ben Milliken came down from Nebraska. This is the third pond in a row we've hit. Out here we're fishing a little conservation area. And uh, yeah, it's all iced over. Got about four inches of ice. It is uh, about midday, noon. And uh, we're gonna try to drill a hole where these two channels meet. I've never ice fished this area in this pond before. So it's kind of new to us. There's bluegill crappie bass in here and uh, I'm excited to get started. Let's catch some big ones. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid to the broken hearted. Their wishes they never been born, never been torn, never sinned, never disobeyed. I know you think there's no hope, no, but that ain't true. Jesus saved. I know you feel a regret, like I brought this all on myself, like I messed it up big time, and this time I don't deserve God's help. We just walked probably a mile back into this pond, and uh, we're gonna fish back in here, the creek channel. I've never fished this area of the pond before, um, and see if we get any to bite. Ben's hooking up a tip up. I think he's putting a big shiner on there going for a big old bass. Sounds like fun to me. Well guys, we are trying these channel swings, kind of the main creek channel, and uh, I got one tap, but I'm just not getting too many hits. Um, ben does have his tip up set up over here, so I think we're gonna leave it over there, because I feel like a big bass would roam these channels, but um, we're probably gonna go on down to the main part of the lake, see if we can find some more bass, some more bluegill, maybe some crappie, and uh, fish down there, because just not getting as many bites as I'd hoped. Okay, we just got down here a little further, I'm gonna drill around, drill some holes, start fishing, see uh, where these fish are hiding. switching it up for you all this video I'm taking off the ice jig and I'm actually going to be using a little spoon I think I'm gonna throw this little white and silver one right there um, water's pretty clear it's a bright sunny day and if I can ever get the hook out of these these spoons I'll use it that is my first choice on a day like today so there you have it it's got some scale patterns with a little red Swedish pimple dot that is what it's about. So, I'm gonna pair that up with a wax worm, try to get on a big old bass. You got one? Oh, no way. Ben's uh, Ben just got hooked up on the, the uh, tip up. Heck yes. Got him. Did you really? Yeah. Shiner? Yeah, dude, on the shiner. Oh, yeah, nice. God. Not a big one, but I'll take it. He's all wide. Yes. Up that line. <laughs> Dude, how did that little guy eat that shiner? Wow. That's been out for like 10 minutes, maybe. <laughs> good one, man. Hey, good start. <laughs> That's the, awesome. Uh, tip ups will work. I looked over and it was spinning. Not well, big. There is what, five pounders you said in here? Yeah, yeah, I've caught multiple over four and five. Sweet. We'll get some bigger ones. Good start. All right. Good job, man. Hooked up. I got a giant on the spoon. Little guy. There's the uh, average gill at this pond. Wow. Yeah, we're going for some big bass. Got your shiner back down? Yep. All right. Okay, this hole's in only about six foot. So I moved over a little shallower, a little closer to the bank. Sometimes that is good for the fish. I like being a little shallower next to some vegetation. Hooked up. Instantly hooked up. Decent little gilly. There's more on the screen down there. But uh, yeah, on the Swedish pimple spoon. Let's get another one. All I'm doing, I'm just dropping it straight down to the bottom, watching my Vexilar, and uh, I'm lifting it about six inches off the bottom, kind of popping it every once in a while, and these fish are just coming over to it, eating it. Pretty good. Hooked up. Another little bluegill. These bass gotta be somewhere. I've caught four and five pound bass at this pond, and uh, I know they're in here. 
Little female. Oh, dropped her. See ya. Hooked up, guys. Another little gilly. <laughs> These are just babies. Hooked up again. This is just instant. Instant bluegill. Second I go down the hole. That's fun. Oh my. Can't complain. But, yeah. Hopefully, we'll hook into a bass for you guys. Or a bigger bluegill. Maybe a crappie. Well, guys, I just got picked clean by these little bluegill. I think the flag's up. Oh no! I'm coming. <laughs> All right, guys, flag is up. Way down on the other side of the pond. We're on this. Check it out. See if we got us a giant bassy. You got one on there? I do. Yes. Sick. Yeah. Another giant, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the big ones are. <laughs> Me either. You got a big enough shiner on there I for know, him. Dude. That's one of the better shiners, too. Wow. Good sized shiner. Small bass, but hey, that's pretty cool. Baby. All right, bud. Well, Gee, man, I was hoping for a five. Dude, I might bring this down there. Yeah. have to run all the way. Yeah, let's bring it. <laughs> I don't think that shiner is gonna live anyway. We are drilling a few more holes in the mouth of this channel. Gonna try to find where the bass are. There's nothing at this hole. This is weird. Oh! Ben just had one take his shiner. Oh gosh, your pole's about to go in the water. Good one? Oh no, it came off. Oh! Oh man, Dude. hooks Dude. hooks pretty small. Wiped out but too. that should still hook them. Wow! That's all right. Almost pulled your pole in the water. It did. It tried to take my pole. My spoon's down here getting hammered, nibble city with these gills. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put a shiner on. Not sure where I want to put it. We've kind of got bit all over the pond. All right, guys, just grabbing a shiner here. Uh, these are buttes. Gonna use these in some uh, some holes here with my rod. And uh, are you just hooking them right behind the dorsal? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like through the lips. We'll go through the lips, and we're gonna set this rod out. Try to get a big old bass to bite. Okay, guys, just got the shiner rod set up. Hoping we get a giant on it. But for now, just gonna walk around with my spoon some more, try to get on these bass. Hooked up. This whole pond's the gill spot. We don't gilly. Caught enough of those. Where are these bass at? Moving over, kind of closer to the last tip up that just got bit. And gonna try to get on a bass here. Did your rod just go in? Ah. Oh. Hooked up. I got something on. Oh. Hey, bass. There we go, guys. First bass on rod and reel through the ice today. Got him on a little spoon. Thanks for biting, buddy. There you go. Pretty little bass. Beautiful little bass. That's what I'm talking about. Look how red their gills are this time of the year. See ya. Shoot! We got two in a row. You got him? Ben's hooked up over there on a bass. This tip up just went up. Yep, he's on there. We got us a fish. Oh yeah. yeah! We just got a double on the shiners. Ugh. Check that out guys. Bass in. Ben's got one on his shiner right over there. We had two go off at once. This is nuts. 
uh, this one's probably about 15 inches um, good bass but not the giants that are in here that we're looking for uh, we'll, we'll catch one eventually but yeah check that out that is awesome we're gonna let him go nice bass though see you buddy yes <laughs> it's crazy man this They're is going so cool down, man. yeah we're bound to hook into a big one man we're bound to oh look it's already going man hooked it he's hooked oh oh this one's fighting yeah yeah oh sweet man. oh yeah oh yes. there's a bigger one <laughs> Woo. Dude. oh my god we just brought this down oh. a few seconds ago wow we got this bass look at that there Finally. you go guys two and a half pounder through the ice on a shiner anything else going crazy yeah this is nuts we just caught one out of this hole two minutes ago dropped back down two and a half on a shiner sick dude yeah release this bad yeah, boy pole's getting pulled in the leg. see ya is it really yes it is go get him ben Okay guys, today was a blast. We just caught some awesome fish through the ice on tip-ups and rod and reel. The shiners, it was nuts. They were going up one after another. We were running all the way across the pond back and forth. Uh, ben, ben hooked some good ones. I didn't get on film. You'll have to go check his video out for that. But we did get that two and a half, three pounder on film. And that was a giant on the tip-up. Caught some good gills with this pond. It's been a blast. Ben, thank you for coming down. Dude, thanks for having me. It's yeah. awesome down here. I can't wait to get back. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's exciting. We'll have to come back. We'll go hit some new ponds, get some more exciting stuff out to you guys. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Fishing with Norby.